Hey everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am doing my first set guide of the 2023 card collecting season. It is for 2023 Top Series 1, the uber anticipated, much celebrated flagship set from Tops. It drops in just a few days, and all collectors are wondering what are the key cards we're going to be chasing? Who are the key rookies? How good is the set overall? Well, there's only really one way to find out, and that is by watching the One Cent Sports Cards 2023 Tops Series 1 Set Guide and Review. Let's go. So we are at the dawn of a new card collecting season 2023 top series one drops in just a few days and what we're trying to do in this set guide and review is find out how good the set really is. We do that by using the exclusive one cent sensational set rating. What we'll cover off on today, we're going to start with the set highlights, tell you what the set generally has to offer, tell you what the different buying formats are, tell you who the key cards are going to be, who the key rookies we're going to be chasing are. We'll cover off on all the parallels, the inserts, the relics, and the autos, and I'm even going to share new information with my break team targets and the break team cheat sheet. And that's what brings us to our one cent sensational set ranking where we find out how good 2023 top series one really is. And then I'll even share how it ranks with all of the other sets that have come out so far in the card collecting season. Hint, it's number one. It's the first set that's been released, but I digress. I did want to share some new updates to the rating system that we have for 2023 if you've watched these videos in the past. What I did is I updated the rating scale to better reflect the overall quality of the set. So you can see on screen, we've actually updated poor, average, and there's a new category just called good, and that category is with the score of 63.5 to 70. And then very good has been updated and the sensational set has been updated to be a little bit more lenient so we can get a few more sensational sets into the rating scale. So our new sensational score that the set has to hit is going to be 77.5 to 100. So let's dig in. It's the 2023 top series one set highlights. The first thing you need to know, it is Topps flagship set for 2023, and this set always kicks off the 2023 card collecting season. This year, we have a 330 card base set checklist, and it, the set is in its 72nd year of production, started way back in 1951 and hasn't quit since. It is widely available all over. You're going to find it in hobby stores. You're going to find it in retail formats. And this year we have a 16 color parallel rainbow for the base set. But you may find that that rainbow is a little bit bigger when we talk about some retail specific parallels that you may find. Think the Meyer purple and the Walgreens yellow. New for 2023, every card in the base set checklist is going to have a golden mirror image variation short print. So that is a golden card with a different image than the base set and every card has it. The 1988 tops design is going to be used heavily all throughout the set and all throughout all the flagship products in 2023 because they're celebrating their 35th anniversary of that design. The silver packs are also returning. You can find those in hobby boxes and hobby jumbo boxes and the 1988 Topps League Leader box loader cards are going to be available in Hobby Jumbo boxes. We also have the Home Run Challenge cards returning for 2023. All you got to do, guess the day a player is going to hit a home run. If you get it right, Topps will send you a reward card for being such a sage. And finally, the image variation cards, I do believe they are going to be available again in 2023. Three. 
So what are the different buying formats we can get this in? Well, we'll start with hobby and you can start with the jumbo case. There's going to be six boxes in the case, 10 packs per box. So 46 cards per pack, which gets you to 2,760 total cards. The current online price hovering around $940. So that gets you a cost per card of 34 cents. What you're guaranteed to get six autos, 12 relics, 12 silver packs, 30 gold foil parallels, and six 1988 Tops League Leaders box loaders. If you don't have around a grand to spend, you can also get a jumbo box. There's 10 packs per box, 46 cards per pack, so 460 total cards. Current price on those is about 160 bucks, so your cost per card is going to creep up to 35 cents. You will get one auto, two relics, two silver packs, five gold foil parallels, and one 1988 Tops League Leaders box loader. You can also get a hobby case. That's going to have 12 boxes per case, 24 packs per box, and 14 cards per pack. That gets you 4,032 total cards, and the current price on that is $1,050. So your cost per card goes down to $0.26. Cents. What you're guaranteed to get are 12 autos or relics. You also get 12 silver packs and guaranteed to get 24 foil parallels as well. A hobby box is going to be 24 packs per box, 14 cards per pack, 336 total cards, cost you around 90 bucks online right now. So your cost per card comes in at 27 cents. You do get one auto or relic, one silver pack, and two rainbow foil parallels. But if you don't have a hobby shop near you and you don't want to buy from the online retailers, you can go to your big box stores and get some retail formats. So what are those going to be? Well, you can start with the retail box. That's going to have 24 packs per box, 16 cards per pack, 384 total cards. Current price is around 85 bucks online and the cost per card goes down to 22 cents. You are guaranteed to get 24 retail exclusive inserts. You can also get a blaster box. Very popular. Seven packs per box, 14 cards per pack, 98 total cards, and the price for those is going to be 25 bucks. Your cost per card, 26 cents, and you are guaranteed to get one team logo patch card that is exclusive to the blaster box format. There are also going to be hanger boxes, 67 cards in the hanger box. They cost around 12 bucks, so your cost per card goes all the way down to 18 cents, and you are guaranteed to get four retail inserts. There's also going to be fat packs, 36 cards in the pack, cost you around 7 bucks. Your cost per card will be 19 cents, and you get two retail exclusives. And finally, you should be able to find plenty of individual gravity feed packs available at Walmart and Target and stuff like that. And you might find additional formats likely based on the different retail locations. There's been tins in the past. There's been blister packs. There's all sorts of different formats that they sometimes release top series one in. So be on the lookout for those. Oh, yes. And one more thing before we continue. Be sure to throw over the first and hit that like button for me. And if you haven't done so already and you like these set guides and reviews, subscribe because we're going to do them all throughout the 2023 card collecting season for all of the major releases. If you want to be the first to see them, you got to hit that bell notification so you'll know exactly when I drop the videos live. And finally, if you haven't checked out my Patreon page, I encourage you to do so. That's how you get into my breaks. That is how you get PSA submissions at no additional charge, monthly break credits, monthly packs, Discord community access, so much more. You can join for as little as $2 a month. And if you're interested, there is a link in the video description below to where you can get all of the information on that. We would love to have you as part of the group. So let's continue. What are the key cards we're going to be chasing? Well, we're going to start with the rookies. And our first one is going to be Nolan Gorman. You can see what that looks like over there on the right. We have Riley Green, Brett Beatty, Oswald Cabrera, Nolan Jones, Miguel Vargas, Jeter Downs, J.J. Blade, Gunnar Henderson, Michael Harris, Adley Rutschman, and Vaughn Grisham. So a loaded rookie lineup by all accounts for 2023 Top Series 1. 
Now, what are the parallels, relics, and inserts and stuff that we're going to be chasing? Well, obviously, the rookie parallels are going to hold a lot of value. So those we're going to be looking for. We also have those golden mirror image variation SPs. I think those are going to be really sought after this year. Should be really fun to see what those look like. And then we also have the 1988 Topps Baseball, the inserts, the relics, and the autos. Going to be pretty easy to find these. Going to see some autos of those, but very much a key part of the set. And then, of course, we have the Silver Pack Mojo Refractor cards, especially the parallels and the autos that you can get out of those. And then you also have the short print image variation cards, which are also very popular. The in the name relics, which return again for 2023. Those are awesome relics. If you can find them, they're all one of one. Very cool relic in the set, along with the Topps Reverence autograph patches. That's a very cool auto patch that you can get probably my favorite one that tops produces out of all of the sets they produce year in and year out we also have some new sp inserts this year aka and heavy lumber so some short print chase cards that we have for inserts which has become a little bit more common with tops so look for aka cards and heavy lumber cards in series one as well we also have the World Series Champions, Autos, and Auto Relics, and the Cut Signatures. There are 50 different Cut Signatures in the set. Going to be very hard to hit, but some huge baseball names if you can find them. Finally, we have the 1988 League Leaders Box Topper. So what are the parallels that we're going to be looking for? What's the rainbow? Well, we start with the rainbow foil. Pretty standard for Top Series 1. Not much has changed. We have the gold foil, which is exclusive to jumbo packs. You're going to find those in one of two packs. Then we have the retail royal blue. Those are found one in 10 packs. You have the gold numbered to 2022, green foil board to 499, orange to 299, red to 199, the vintage stock to, to 99, the independence day to 76, and we have the black number to 70, I believe it's actually numbered to 72 this year, not 71, but that's exclusive to Hobby and Jumbo. We have the Father's Day and Mother's Day uh, pink. Those are each numbered to 50. Memorial Day camo numbered to 25. The clear variations return again. They're all numbered to 10, but keep in mind, you're only going to find those in Hobby, and it is not the full 330 card set. Only 100 subjects from the base set are in that clear variation. And then we have printing plates and the plat platinum one of one. And don't forget, we have the gold mirror image variation SPs, which kind of act as parallels because every card in the set has one of those. So what are the inserts we'll be chasing? Well, we'll start with the 1988 Tops Baseball. Going to be 100 cards in that insert set with a parallel breakdown of blue, black, Real One Heritage Stock, number to 88, which is new for 2023. Then you've got Gold to 75, Red to 10, and Platinum, one of one. There's also the 1988 Topps Baseball Chrome Silver Packs. That's got 100 cards. Those, we don't know what the parallels are going to be, but we do know they'll be in there. And you're going to find those in Hobby and Jumbo formats. We have 2022 Greatest Hits insert, new one for 2023, highlighting some of 2022's Greatest Hits. That's got 25 cards in the set with the blue, black, gold, red, and platinum parallel rainbow. Then we have those short print AKA cards, only 10 cards, and they're going to be short printed, so should be pretty tough to find. We have all aces. You can see what that looks like over there on the right with the Shohei Otani. 25 cards in the insert set with the blue, black, gold, red, and platinum parallel rainbow. We have more inserts as well. We have the heavy lumber. That is another one of those short print insert chases. You can see what that looks like over there on the right with the Bryce Harper card. 20 cards in that subset. And the home run challenge cards, of course. There's going to be 30 subjects for Series 1. Then we have another new insert set for 2023. It's the one-two punch cards. Going to feature two players on the card. 25 cards in the subset with that standard insert parallel rainbow. Sketch cards also return. We don't know how many cards they're going to be. We do know they're all going to be one of one. And we also know that they're only available in hobby and jumbo formats. 
Stars of MLB return again, 30 cards in the subset. You're going to find one per retail pack, and there is a red, black, and platinum parallel rainbow for that subset. And there's even more inserts. We have the chrome version of Stars of MLB, 30 cards in that subset. They land one in 10 retail packs with a red, black, and super fractor parallel breakdown. We also have Welcome to the Club. 25 cards, parallel rainbow that you can see on screen. And finally, we have the box topper. It's the oversized 1988 Tops Baseball League leaders. There's 25 cards in the subset, and they are only available in jumbo boxes. So for our relics, here's what we got. We got the 1988 Tops Baseball relics, 85 cards in the subset. We got a black, gold, red, and Platinum Parallel Breakdown. Platinum is only available in Hobby and Jumbo. We have the City Connect Commemorative Patches. 30 cards in that Relic set, only available in Hobby and Jumbo. And it also has the Parallel Breakdown that you can see on screen. Then, of course, the in the Nameplate Letter Relics. 42 cards in the set. They're all numbered one of one. However, players can have more than one of one. So, for example, if their name is Otani... You know, they're going to have six because they they pulled the O, the T, the H, yeah, um, all of the letters off of their jersey, and they put them onto a patch. So even though they're numbered one of one, there are multiple ones of them per letter in the last name. Also, you're only going to find those in Hobby and Jumbo. Major League Materials, which you should see coming out of a lot of these packs that we're going to be opening. You can see what the Juan Soto looks like over there on the right. 87 cards in the subset with a pretty robust parallel rainbow. We have a few more relics as well. We have the patchwork of the past relics. There's going to be 25 cards in that subset, only available in Hobby and Jumbo, with a small parallel rainbow of black, red, and platinum. Then we have the postseason performance relics. 39 cards in that subset, each number to 99 or less with a red and platinum parallel rainbow. We also have the team logo commemorative patches. Those are the ones that are available in blaster boxes. 50 cards in the subset, and there is a pretty robust parallel rainbow for those. We also have World Series champion relics, 50 cards in the subset, each number to 99 or less with a red and platinum parallel rainbow. So now for our autographs, quite a robust autograph checklist for 2023. So we're going to start with the 1988 Topps Baseball autographs, 117 names in the autograph checklist. There is a parallel rainbow of black, gold, red, and platinum. Now, red and platinum are only going to be available in hobby and jumbo formats. You can see what that autograph is going to look like with the Julio Rodriguez over there on the right. We also have, this should say 1988, but for some reason I kept typing 1987. But the 1988 Topps Baseball Chrome Silver Pack autograph, 75 cards in the subset. Parallels to be determined, but just know there will be parallels with the autos. We also have the 2022 Greatest Hit autographs, 16 cards in the subset, each number to 25 or less. The All Aces has an autograph version, 18 cards in the set, and they're numbered to 25 or less as well. We have the Baseball Stars autographs. You're going to see a lot of these coming out of packs as well. Some very cool names in this autograph checklist that aren't in the base set checklist. There's 112 cards in the set with the black, gold, red, and platinum parallel breakdown. Now, remember, the Baseball Stars autographs are typically sticker autographs, whereas those 1988 Topps Baseball autographs should be on card. So that's really the difference between those two. We have a few more autographs as well. We have the Baseball Stars dual autographs, 33 cards in that subset. Typically, those have always been numbered low, but on the checklist, it did not say they are going to be numbered this year, but I expect them to be numbered. Then we also have the cut signatures, 50 cards in that checklist. They're all numbered to one of one, and you can see what that Jackie Robinson looks like over there on the right. Totally awesome cards if you can hit them, but going to be extremely long odds for top series one. There's the one-two punch autographs, nine cards in that set, each number to 25 or less. And the postseason per performance autos, 
15 cards in that set, each number to 50 or less, and they do have a parallel rainbow. Then you have the Welcome to the Club Autos, 15 cards in that subset, each number to 25 or less. Finally, we have more autographs. World Series Champion autographs, 10 cards in the set, number to 50 or less, with the red and platinum parallel rainbow. And the box toppers can even be autographed. So the oversized 1988 League Leaders box toppers are going to be 15 cards in the auto checklist. What do we got for our autographed relics? Well, we have the City Connect commemorative patch autos. Those are going to be numbered to 10 or less, and there is 19 cards in the subset. It's a manufactured relic auto that is only available in hobby and jumbo formats. There's the Major League Materials auto relics. So those are going to have 46 cards in the subset, each numbered to 50 or less, with a small parallel rainbow. Then we have the Patchwork of the Past commemorative patch autos. That's going to be 19 cards in the set, each numbered to 10 or less, and only available in hobby and jumbo formats. And we have the postseason performance relic autos. That's got 20 cards in the set, 50 numbered to 50 or less, with a small parallel breakdown of red and platinum. The team logo commemorative patch autos, you can see what that looks like over there on the right. 27 cards in that set, each number to 10 or less, and they are only available in the blaster format. We also have a few more autograph relics. The Topps Reverence Auto Patch, my favorite patch out of all the patches that Topps makes. 55 cards in the set, each numbered to 10, only available in Hobby or, or Jumbo, and you can get a red parallel and a platinum one of one. There's also the World Series Champion Auto Relics, nine cards in the set, numbered to 50 or less, with parallels of red to 25 and platinum one of one. So, it's going to be a great set for breaks, obviously. A lot of people are going to be breaking this. So, who should we target in team breaks? Well, guess what? I'm going to make a whole nother video that covers off on just that. We used to do this as part of the one cent sensational set rating views, but I feel like these videos got a little bit long. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that a standalone video and we're going to make that portion of the review a lot more in depth. I'm going to expand the 30 team cheat sheet breakdown to really tell you how good each individual team is. I'm going to tell you what the key chase cards per team are going to be. And that video is going to drop a little bit closer to release date, normally within 24 to maybe 48 hours. So you can get into a break the day before and be confident that you're buying a team that you're going to get good value back on. As a hint, the Orioles are an amazing team. First time in a long time, but they are an amazing team in 2023 Top Series 1. But, of course, we're going to cover off on all 30 teams. It's going to be awesome. So look for that video in just a couple days. I hope you guys will watch. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, subscribe, because that's when you're going to know when it drops. So let's get to the sensational set rating. Here's what that is. It is the most in-depth rating system you're going to find anywhere on the internet. What I do is I break 2023 Top Series 1 down into 10 different categories, and each category is worth 1 to 10 points. Once we go through all the categories, we're going to add up all those points, and that's what's going to give us our final sensational set rating scale or score using the scale that you see below. That scale, by the way, is all new for 2023. And we're going to compare the 2023 Top Series 1 set with all of the past sets for Series 1 from the last few years to see if the set's getting better, to see if it's getting worse. And we will compare that with all of the other sets that have been released so far in the card collecting season. Being that this is the first set, we're not actually going to compare it to any other sets, but we got to start somewhere, right? So let's get into it. Here are our 10 categories. Our first one is going to be appeal. Now, I say this every year for Top Series 1. This has massive appeal. It is the flagship set. Nostalgic collectors love it. New collectors love it. Modern collectors, vintage collectors, everyone loves it. Anyone that's into the hobby can get into this set. There are cheap buying formats, and you can go all the way up to the jumbo format and even the case format. 
and everything in between. There are a new crop of rookies that we haven't seen so far on a Topps flagship card. So that's got appeal. So easy, easy, easy to give this a nine. It's probably easy to give it a 10. It's one of Topps, if not Topps, most popular set. For our base checklist, I'm going to give it a 7.5. They are not missing that many rookies, although they are missing a few. We're going to cover off on why I think that's okay here in a second. We do get most of the big rookies that we expected to see in 2023 Top Series 1. I like that we are still at the 330 card level and not the 350 card level that we were at a couple years ago. So we stayed a little bit more tight. So overall, I give the base set checklist a 7.5. Now for the auto checklist, I'm going to give it a 7. If you look at the checklist, it's kind of interesting. There are a lot of different autos, and a lot of autos are what I like to call filler autos, i.e. autos that you're you're not really chasing unless you're a fan of the team or a fan of the player that is on the card. However, something that is kind of new for 2023, it's not unprecedented, but there are a surprising number of names that are rookie auto only names. So what do I mean by that? Well, so as we look at the base set checklist, there are a few rookies that you might say were missing off the checklist. However, if you go look at the auto checklist, you might find them there. Some names included big ones, Josh Jung, Drew Waters, Francisco Alvarez, Garrett Mitchell, Max Mayer, Tristan Casas. I mean, there are a lot of good names on that auto checklist that you don't find in the base set checklist. But beware, there is a little bit of filler, so I'm not going higher than seven. You're also going to find all of your major stars. So Mike Trout has multiple autos in here. Shohei Otani, Aaron Judge, Ronald Acuna Jr. You name the big star, they're probably in here. For our inserts, parallels, and variations, I do like the insert sets. I think they look very cool this year. Our parallel rainbow, the standard one that we get, I like that we have the gold mirror image variation short prints. Those are going to be cool. The short print image variations, the standard ones, those are always fun. So I'm going to say, hey, it's pretty strong, but some of the inserts don't always hold a ton of value. So let's back off a little bit, and we'll go ahead and give it a 7. For our production run and pack odds, This is where Top Series 1 always suffers. Because it's so popular and because it's the flagship set, they produce a ton of this stuff. And with the popularity of the hobby right now, the print runs have been up and up and up over the last few years. I don't know what the exact print run is going to be, but I expect it to be similar or maybe slightly higher than what we saw in 2022. I don't think it'll be much higher because this stuff was produced a ton in 2022. So I think it'll be kind of similar, but still the, because of the very large print run, the pack odds just get destroyed. So if you're looking for some of these big chase cards, the odds on them are really long. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a two for the card quality top series one, the standard tops cardboard that you're going to get. I'm going to go ahead and give it a five. I should go a little bit lower because I don't know what quality control is going to look like for 2023. It's been okay the last couple sets, but if you just go back just a couple sets before that, the QC, especially on a lot of Chrome cards, has been terrible. But on cardboard, it's been okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a five. For our historical value, which is how much does this set hold value over the long term? Well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. When people look up rookie cards that come into the hobby, they don't go looking for, say, like Topps Heritage rookie card or Topps Triple Threads rookie card. They put in Topps, insert player name here, rookie card. And what comes up? It's the flagship card. So that alone is the reason why the historical value holds high because of the heritage of the set and because of the nostalgia of the set and because of its 72 year run there's a lot of value that you get in there and if you were lucky enough to hit one of the big autos or one of the big parallels they hold a ton of value as well so i'm going to go ahead and give it a seven 
for our cost value, which is the return that you get on buying a box. I'm going to give it a six. One thing I love this year is the cost of the boxes are actually down. We're back below a hundred bucks for a hobby box. They're at 90 bucks right now, 160 bucks for a jumbo box. And the blaster is still a little expensive at 25 bucks. I think it should still be 20 and the hangers you can still get for around 10, 15 bucks, something like that. And I think if you buy some of these formats, you've got a pretty decent chance of returning a decent amount on your value. I always say it's unrealistic to think that you're going to get 100% of your value back. You might get lucky and get more than that, but the reality is I think it's reasonable for a hobbyist or a collector to assume that you're going to get between 50 and 70% of your value back. That might not happen on every one of these boxes. But I do think that based upon the rookie class and based upon the parallels and some of the autos that you can pull out of here, that you've got a decent chance. So we'll go ahead and give it a six. For the artistic value, we, I haven't even talked about this yet, but the set design for 2023 is very clean. That all aces insert is just sharp looking. I like that we've got some very cool short print image variations that are also in there, like the AKA with polar bear and stuff like that. Should be some very cool artistic pushing of the envelope going on. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight, which is pretty high for top series one. Then for collectability, that's where we take value out of it and just say, how fun is Top Series 1 to collect? And this is the one set that no matter who you are, it is fun. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 10. Whether you are an investor, if you are just brand new into the hobby, if you're a team set collector, if you're a kid, if you're someone that likes getting into breaks, this is a great break product. And really, what is there not to like about the flagship set for Tops? If you're a collector, if you're going to go knock it, I really question what are you in the hobby for? This is the one set that holds everything together. So for me, I think it's probably the most collectible set year in and year out. So I give it a 10. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add up all of those points and find out how good this set really is. And for 2023, top series one comes in at a 68.5 on the sensational set rating scale, which makes it a good set. It is not very good because I do think that there is a lot of filler that you're going to find on the auto checklist, but I also think there's some hidden gems on the checklist with some rookies that aren't included in the base set checklist. What's also cool is in the base set checklist, you've got some very good rookie names and there's some very fun inserts and they've made a few chases in there that should make opening packs and opening boxes a pretty interesting rip. So for me, it's a good set. It ranks out at 68.5, which is a good score on the sensational set rating scale. Now in 2022, top series one it came in at a 65. So this set a little bit better than last year's. I'm wondering about the print run. That's about the only unknown thing. Did they increase it again in 2023? But I believe this set a little bit better than last year. Now in 2021, a little interesting because we scored a little bit higher at a 70.5. And in 2020 on the sensational set rating scale, it scored a 68.5 as well. So you can see not a ton of movement with series one that you're going to find. It always kind of ranks as a good set, not necessarily a great set or a sensational set, but one that most collectors definitely, definitely should buy into. And one that I think for any type of hobbyist, you're going to enjoy it. So that's where I give it. And for our overall set ratings, We've only got one rating so far because it's the first set of 2023. So we're going to use top series one as our base level set for the sensational set score. And we've got a 68.5 and the rating is good. So with that, you guys, let me know if you are getting in to top series one. Let me know who you are chasing. I'd love to respond to the comments below. I want to say thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. And when you're out there in the wild, I hope you have good luck finding Top Series 1. And when you do rip those packs, I hope you rip some fire. And until next time, as always, be good to your family, 
Be good to your friends. Be good to your neighbors. And most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching.